Again, it's Good Morning Georgetown, 7.09 a.m. want to thank you for waking up with us this morning. I've got a good friend joining me this morning, and uh, actually two for a new friend also joining this morning, but Miss Denise White is joining us here with the American Heritage Girls. Denise, can you hear us this morning? I can, Rob. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you. Per- it's all That's always like the most stressful part of this show is because right. whenever, whenever we don't have time, I don't have a producer, and so I don't get a chance to do an audio check with you. And so it's always the most stressful part when I say, can you hear us this morning? Because it's been one time where they couldn't hear us. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I'm glad to be here. Well, Denise, appreciate you being here. Savannah Cantor is joining us as well. And, and I'll let you introduce her in a little bit. But before we get started, Denise, tell us a little bit about yourself and, and what you've been up to. And, and we've got an awesome opportunity today to hear some great, uh, some great news and some great events that are going on, Denise. Appreciate you being here. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm, I'm Denise White with American Heritage Girls and Rotary Club of Georgetown. And right now, I uh, really won't, don't want to take too much of the spotlight away from Savannah Cantor. She's a Stars and Stripes candidate. Stars and Stripes is our highest award in American Heritage Girls. And it's it's kind of like a Boy Scouts with their Eagle Award, but even harder. Um, and her project is with Hearts Therapeutic Writing Center, and she's building a platform for them. Um, pretty spectacular. So I'm glad to be here, Rob, and uh, got a lot of stuff going on with our American Heritage Girls. As you know, they're at the Field of Honor every year, all day, every day, out and about doing a good work over the COVID shutdown with soup kitchen work, making blankets, working with our youth centers as much as they can. Um, we're out there helping. <laughs> well, before before we chat with uh, Savannah here, because we're going to bring her on here just a bit, and it's Savannah Cantor will be joining us here in just a few minutes. Denise, tell us a little bit uh, real quick about this Hearts Therapeutic Writing Program because yeah, we have there's there's some programs throughout Central Texas. This is one that's right here close to Georgetown. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, Hearts Therapeutic Writing Center deals with uh, a lot of veterans primarily. They also work with uh, younger, disabled children, um, older people as well. Uh, what they do is they get people on horses. As we know, depression is a big deal. And with the therapy program and equine therapy especially, we get people on the horses. And it is amazing to watch and to have people open up. Um, growing up on a horse farm, I know how important horses can be. Having done equine therapy myself, being a disabled veteran, I also know how important equine therapy is. So Savannah's project is amazing. Um, it opens it up to so many more people, which is just going to be fantastic. Well, we're excited to have her on as well this morning. Denise, appreciate you bringing her on. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Savannah real quick, and then I'm going to let her chat. Uh, American Heritage Girls, a great organization based on serving community and building leadership. She belongs to a local troop. She wants to shout out to 6201. She's been with them for nine years. And Savannah, I believe, is 17 years old. Savannah, can you hear us this morning? Yes, sir. I can hear you perfectly fine. Awesome. Well, hey, it's so good to have you on this morning. And I'm going to go ahead and bring your video up now. So we got you in the we got you in the spotlight now, Savannah. You know, we're uh, we appreciate you being on here this morning. Tell us a little bit more just about American Heritage Girls and your involvement and and just a little bit about you, if you don't mind. Yeah, sure. Uh, thank you so much for having me. Um, I've actually been in the program for nine years now, so super psyched about that. AHG or American Heritage Girls has honestly literally changed me as a person. I wouldn't be able to be here right now without being in this program because it's helped so much with social skills and my leadership because I'm a type A person. So I have all this like energy where I like, I want to lead and stuff, but AHG really helped hone that ability and make it constructive. So honestly, I would suggest American Heritage Girls for anyone who's looking for scouting. Uh, I've been to countless summer camps. My mom, Mrs. Cantor, she has this event that she does every uh, other year called Day of the Capitol, which I attend. I actually helped uh, do a little itinerary for our older girls, which would be 
Patriots and Pioneers, which is a 12 to 18. So that was really awesome. Um, and I've done a lot of service projects too. My heart is obviously with the veterans. So I was able to help them a lot through American Heritage Girls. Uh, I am homeschooled, which is really awesome since I have a little more flexibility there with, you know, doing these kinds of events with American Heritage Girls. So that's super awesome. Uh, and yeah, just basically super psyched to be on here. Like this is really awesome. <laughs> awesome i would have never imagined being on like a radio station so this is really cool well you know when you're around uh whenever you're with miss denise white you never know what's going to happen right is that kind of the story <laughs> that's very true very true <laughs> well we're talking to savannah Cantor this morning with american heritage girls uh, you you just have a passion for helping others savannah uh, you're you're looking and, and look i'm just going to get right into it because you guys are working really hard uh helping out veterans you're building an accessibility ramp and a platform to help safe mounting for disabled veterans and special needs children. And that is really important. This is at the at the Hearts Therapeutic Writing Program. Can you tell us a little bit more, Savannah, about that project and the donation drive that you have going on right now and what your needs are? Well, Hearts is an amazing organization, but they don't really have a platform and ramp, which is meant for wheelchair bound veterans or special needs children. So that's really a need that they need right now, because, you know, with the times we're in right now, everything seems to be canceled, but the needs of these individuals can't be canceled. They need to be able to get to these services because therapy is really important. So I just want to provide for these individuals. <laughs> Currently, I've gotten such uh, it's such awesome support. I honestly couldn't even imagine everyone in the AHD community and even beyond have just been so generous. I do need, I'm trying to get to a uh, $2,000 to meet my goal, but I've already got, gotten a lot of awesome donations. I actually created a website. So that's super neat. Uh, I can, you know, give the link to that later, but yeah, I've, $2,000 would be great to meet for the goal that I'm trying to get to. Awesome. Savannah, do you, do you know that website right now? And I'll go ahead and put it on our, our Facebook chat. If you've got it there and yes, sir, uh, I can do it real quick. yeah, let us know what that is. And, and we will pop that up here in just a few moments. We're talking to Savannah Cantor this morning of American heritage girl. She is working on an awesome project here, uh, helping veterans out in our local community, Savannah. And did, all right. Yeah. Yeah. So go ahead. The, let uh, us know that website. The website is starsandstripes2020.wixsite.com. So it's starsandstripes2020.wixsite.com. That is where you can go. You can get more information about the website. And uh, it is Stars and Stripes 2020. Is that right? Stars yes, sir. Starsandstripes2020.wixsite.com. Yeah, well, I may have to confirm that because it's saying that it's not found. So I may have typed in something wrong there, Savannah. But we'll we'll confirm that here in a little bit because we want to make sure. We want folks to know that, that you're looking uh, for donations here to help out with that. And, uh, again, we will post those links on our website as well and right here on the station. Uh, Savannah, I wanted to ask you, you know, you, you've done some great work. You're only 17, and so you've, you've, you've already done such incredible work, Savannah, I wanted to ask you, and you may have touched on this a little bit. I've got some questions here. Denise helped me out, so she made my job a little easy this morning. She's the hard the hard part is your part. I'm just kidding. It'll be easy. Why are you so passionate about veterans? <laughs> what What is one reason you're so passionate about veterans? Well, I actually, it's funny. I almost always get this question, and I don't have any direct family that's you know in the army or in the services right now. Uh, my brother, he's at home. My dad's also at home, but I'm extremely patriotic like if anyone who knows me they can tell you like savannah is crazy about america she loves america and without these veterans and their sacrifices america wouldn't be the awesome country that it is especially for those who fought in world war ii their sacrifice not only did they save america they saved the world you know the veterans that, that continue to support this country it's just absolutely amazing what they're doing to put their lives on the line constantly for the freedoms of others and my freedom. So I just really want to find a way to you know, give back to them because they really deserve it. Well, I think it's awesome. The work that you're doing and especially being so mindful of our veterans. Can you talk a little bit about some other volunteer work that you've done for our veteran community? Yeah. Um, just this year, actually, I 
went to the Field of Honor just in Georgetown, and that was an awesome experience. Just getting to that field and just seeing all those American flags, you just actually have to step back and you're just like, whoa, this is awesome. And I was able to be a docent there for quite some time. I spent a lot of time there and I was like hearing the stories and just seeing the people coming here to just honor their family members. And a lot of friends came there and put it for their own veteran friends. It, it was amazing to see that. Um, I'm honestly, I really hope I can come back next year or actually this year. And another big organization that I've been with for actually four years now is Honor Flight Austin. They are a program where they take war two vets, Korean and Vietnam, and and they take them to DC for a flight to go through all the memorials to just see that. And they get to see the changing of the guard and then they come back home. And for that, I've been doing flag processions to, you know, because when they get home, they get all the excitement of the crowd cheering and stuff, but the flag uh, procession that I do really, you know, really, they seem to really like it. Um, I actually, with American Heritage Girls, there's another leveling up project called the Dolly Madison. And for that, I was able to raise funds for Honor Flight. I designed a pin and I was selling that to raise funds for that. And I was actually able to go on the first all-female veteran flight to D.C. with them to see all those memorials. And it was an amazing experience. Honestly, I and this organization is great. They're just, the work that they do is awesome. So yeah, that's, that was a really great experience. Well, that is awesome. We're talking to Savannah here, Cantor of American Heritage Girls and what she is working on. Uh, tell us a little bit more. You, you've talked to us about your passion for veterans, the project that you're working on. Uh, talk a little bit more this morning about why equine therapy is so important. I mean, it, it makes a difference in, in many lives, especially veterans. Tell us about that. Absolutely. I just came back from Hearts yesterday because I was trying to make a video for them for promotional stuff. And I was able to talk with one of their clients, a veteran who suffers from PTSD. And their their story was just, it was really depressing because they told me they tried everything, medication, therapy sessions. They've literally tried everything and nothing has worked. But when they get on that horse and they start riding, (laughs) <laughs> she even said it she was like she could cha- feel that change feel that like pressure of that disability lifting off her shoulders and just feeling happy and free so for me personally looking at this equine therapy is great because not only are you building a connection with this horse because i went to philmont you know a scout camp and you do build a relationship with that horse when you work with it for not even that long of time it the equine therapy comes with very little, you know, cons, unlike, you know, therapy sessions and, you know, meditation, those are great, but equine therapy, it's honestly, anyone could, you know, admit this. It's easier to open up to a horse than to a person because the horse is not going to judge you, you know, for what you've done or how you feel. It's just going to be like, Hey, I'm here for you. It, and I, you know, work with horses, as I've said before, and when you, you ride that horse, it feels really like you're free. Like, oh, I'm on the field, just like galloping free. And there's like nothing holding me back. And you just feel like have this awesome feeling while doing it. So hearing that veteran's response and just how like she's tried everything and equine therapy has been the only thing that's helped. That's really, really inspired me to really try to get this done because, you know, these veterans deserve to have these services available to them and they need this therapy because, you know, when they come back, you know, it changes them for the good sometimes, but a lot of times, you know, for the bad. And so having this therapy that has been, you know, successful for so many other veterans, I really want to provide that for them because, you know, therapy is really important and equine therapy is (laughs) even cooler than (laughs) normal therapy because you get to ride a horse and stuff. Yeah, well, for sure. Well, Savannah, we're talking to Savannah Cantor this morning of American Heritage Girls. Appreciate her being on and and her work with Heart's Therapeutic Writing Program. Uh, you may have already answered this, but just touching a, a base on a, on a couple more questions here. How long have you been with American Heritage Girls again, for those of that may just be joining us, and what all have you done uh, through American Heritage Girls? You talked about the Field of Honor, maybe some other things that you've done. Yeah, uh, I've been in the program for nine years now. This year would make it nine. Uh, I've done so many summer camps. I'm 
honestly, American Heritage Girls is awesome because it's really allowed me to have this door open to me to do all these awesome events like Day at the Capitol, which is at, you know, the Capitol. And we're able to see all the cool stuff that goes down there. Camp Rees. I'm actually planning a Greatest Generation event for our older girls, the Patriots and Pioneers, which is 12-year-olds to 18-year-olds, to also further honor that generation and their sacrifices they've done and all sorts of other cool events as such. Uh, as I mentioned before, I work with Honor Flight to do those flag profes- processions for them, and they really enjoy that. Well, it's great work and just incredible work that you are doing again here and working on building this ramp. You've talked about how you're trying to raise $2,000. How much funds have you raised so far, Savannah, for this project? Well, like I said before, it is awesome. The support I've gotten from the HD community and also just family and friends. I This site's barely been out, but I already have uh, $760. So that has just been amazing. I could have never expected getting funds from people this fast, but you know, the HD community is really something else. We're really, really close knit and people are just always like, how can I help you with your project? And like, Oh, you're doing so awesome and stuff. And it's really amazing to be a part of it. Well, look, it's just $2,000 is what she's trying to raise friends. That's why we wanted to have Savannah on this morning, not just to try to raise funds, but this is such an important project that she's working on with the American heritage girls they are working and trying to build a ramp here to help out at the Hearts Therapeutic Writing Program. And this is what the money is going for. Uh, look, a $50 donation, that's going to allow you to buy eight pieces of lumber. But how many pieces do you need? You need a lot more than that. Oh, yeah, I need a lot more than that. I can't even count off the top of my head how much wood I need, but uh, I need a lot of it. So. <laughs> 188, 188 pieces, I think is what you wrote in a letter that you need. So, yeah. you know, I think, I think our community can step up and, and help out and look, anything that you can give, it's going to be appreciated by these disabled veterans and special needs children at this facility. Uh, you know, you, you really want to help these folks out. I think it is awesome what you're working on here. Uh, just a heart for veterans and working on this project for hearts therapeutic writing program. Can you tell us just a little bit more about that program though, where it's located and, and, and more about what they may do? They're actually really, really close. They're uh, in, I'm in Cedar park, but they're just in Leander. So it's not even eight minutes outside of my house. And um, they uh, provide the services for those Salem veterans and special needs children. I've been there a couple times and they, uh, it's awesome what they do. I've seen people get on the horses and just really having a good time there. And just, you know, you can see the relief on their faces and just see how much this is helping them. They do writing uh, classes for those individuals. They also work a lot with veterans. They do like veterans night out and stuff like that, which is really cool that they, you know, partner with those other veteran based organizations. You know, they just help out a lot. It's really amazing. Well, we've made the the website. You said it a while ago. Denise has posted it for us on the chat. For those that are listening on the audio, uh, we've got a lot of folks that are right now on our HRN app as well that are listening. Uh, quite a few folks on Facebook Live also. But uh, we've made it really easy. It's tinyurl.com forward slash stars and stripes 2020. Again, tinyurl.com forward slash stars and then the word and stars and stripes 2020. What that'll do, friends, is that'll take you right to Savannah's website that she's put together to talk more about the Hearts Therapeutic Writing Program and the projects that they are doing. Uh, Savannah, I, I wanted to ask you a couple other questions here. Tell us, uh, where do you go to school at? Yeah, well, I'm homeschooled, so there you go. right here. I uh, do a co-op, but you know the schooling sort of atmosphere is strictly at home, and yeah, it's the house is a little crazy with papers all over the place and stuff but you know hey it works so so you've been you've been with american heritage girls for eight years now and you mentioned earlier the homeschooling has has been really great for you because it provides some flexibility to be able to work so well with this organization talk a little bit more about that yeah uh for homeschooling obviously you know my mom can control the schooling a little bit more i honestly 
obviously actually have the same workload as, you know, a public school student or even a private school student. It's just I have that little more flexibility to work with my schedule a little more to go out to these events and stuff. Also, the homeschool community is just an awesome community to be a part of. I've met like super longtime friends, friends I'm still friends with today since, you know, being a wee little child uh, in that community, it's, it's been awesome. A lot of people are really close knit together and there too, and everyone just helps each other out. We're talking to Savannah Cantor this morning of American Heritage Girls. I know I'm kind of bouncing around here. I want to go back really quick though, because there was a very important uh, question that I had kind of looked over and uh, didn't ask you this. Uh, we're, we're talking about building the ramp platform. And you know, here at this facility in Leander, a veteran was actually refused because they did not have a ramp. Tell us about that and why it's so important. I mean, this is it's it's incredible because we can get the funds here today. I truly believe today that we can get this wrapped up for you, and we're asking folks to donate to help out. We don't want to see any veterans turned away uh, because of not having a ramp. That is what Savannah's working to raise funds for and to build here at this therapeutic center in Leander. It's tinyurl.com forward slash stars and stripes 2020 for more information. But talk a little bit about that because that is that does tug at your heart a lot. It's honestly really, really depressing to hear that, especially for me trying to do this project, hearing that someone had to be turned away, especially a veteran has been really my main drive to really go out there and just try everything I do. I've, you know, called and talked to a bunch of people because this is really important. Like I said previously, with everything being canceled now, their needs cannot be canceled and will not be canceled. They need to have these services available to them because equine therapy has across the board been so positive to these veterans. They need to have access to this. And for something as simple as just building a ramp and raising funds, I really, I, like you said, I honestly believe we can, we work together, we can do this, but these disabled veterans and, you know, they've given so much to our community and kept our way of life safe and our freedom. So it's the least we can do to give back to them. Well, Larry Baird here in Georgetown is donating his expertise on this. Can you tell us a little bit more also about Texas Ramp Build? Texas Ramp Build is super, super cool. Uh, when I first started working with him, uh, Mr. Bard, he's amazing. He helped me so much through, you know, diagram making because if I'm being honest, Honest, I'm not really a construction builder, and after this, I probably won't be one either. But he helped a lot through diagram making and working me through it because, you know, I've never done something like this before. And uh, a while back, they actually allowed me to go on a ramp build to see, you know, the inner mechanisms and what, you know, takes place at a ramp build. And that really helped me, you know, complete my product description, which is a, a, uh, a document that you have to write that we send to our national office that has to be approved and has to be in, in extreme detail. So going through that ramp build and seeing how it went down really helped not only doing that, but also helped me see what I'm going to be doing at my ramp build. So they've helped out a lot. Well, again, it's Savannah Cantor here with Texas, uh, working with the Texas ramp bill, putting together this amazing opportunity here for veterans in the community of Leander. I wanted to ask you another question. You know, Savannah, you're only 17, but you've been with American Heritage Girls. I did the math, and I believe it's like eight years now. Is that right? Or since you were eight years old. Is that right? Uh, actually, for nine years. Nine years. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. See, my ma I said I did the math here. My math wasn't good. That's fuzzy math. Uh, <laughs> but you've been it's doing this. Math. You've been doing this a long time. What What do you want to do in your future? What are you looking forward to in your future, Savannah? Well, I am homeschooled, but I, it's really been on my heart. I really want to go to college and, you know, get that further education. I really want to travel. So I've actually looked into out of country colleges. So I really want to look into that. But after college, I really want to get into like international relations, maybe even politics, you know, still trying to figure that out or even go into the military. Uh, through this AHG experience and, you know, through growing through that, I, and like have my doors open to so many different cool things. So it's going to be really hard to choose, but I at least know I'm going to college. So we're going to stick with that and see what happens after that. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, we're talking just a couple more questions here. I know I'm kind of going back and forth, Savannah. We appreciate your time this morning and just an inspiration of what you're doing. I think it's going to inspire a lot of folks to really get involved. Uh, 
this ramp is 30 feet long that you are working to help build 30 feet long helping veterans being able to mount onto these horses for therapeutic riding it's all built by volunteers but you need two thousand dollars that's what we're trying to help here today you can visit tinyurl.com forward slash stars and stripes 2020 it's tinyurl.com forward slash stars and stripes 2020 I just wanted to ask you also, and I know we keep kind of bouncing around here, but I want to go back just a little bit more. Talk about some of the leadership requirements on this project. Well, AHD, like I said, the Stars and Stripes project, uh, like Miss Denise said, actually, is really intensive. I have to lead the entire project. I th- That means from starting to write the project all the way up to the actual build, you have to at least get 100 hours of just leadership there. You have to have three supervisory hours of youth. So that'd be 10 uh, uh, 10 hours together with three youth. So there's like a lot of different sort of leadership requirements through that just because, you know, AHD is really built on building leadership. So this uh, Stars and Strikes project is really intensive with leadership. What would you tell to some? There may be some parent watching right now, Savannah, and saying, man, this is incredible. I've never heard of American Heritage Girls and you know your project 58 pages long that you've had to put together so it's a lot of work Uh, so you can talk about there is a lot of responsibility and work and thought that goes into everything but there may be a there may be a parent out there that has a daughter and they're saying wow I'd really like for my daughter to get involved what would you say to that mom or to that parent about American Heritage Girls just talking you know directly I mentioned this earlier. I am a different person because of American Heritage Girls. I'm a better person. You not only get to learn and grow through this program, but I've met my best friends through this program. And the opportunities it gives you through summer camps, through camperies, day at the Capitol, all this service you're opened up to. Even they even have girl leadership uh, camps, which I have just staffed. I was actually a director, a co-director for that, which was amazing. You have so many doors open to you because of this program. So not only do you grow and become a better person, the people around you become better people. Like my mom has like always said, you know, I, I am a better and different person than I was before joining the program and how much I've been able to help people. And I'm not special. If you, even if like you're not a part of this program, even though I strongly encourage you do because it really gives you this drive for serving your community, you can do stuff like this too. Like it, I'm not some like superhero person that's like, oh, I'm so amazing. I'm just your average Joe sort of person. So you too can help your community through this way. AHG has just allowed me to better help these people in this community and has opened doors for me to help these people so it honestly i would not have half the opportunities i have without this program so i really really encourage this to to any parents who are looking for an alternate alternate uh scouting program and also the fact that this is very christ-based you know very faith-based it's it gives you a really good foundation to work off of building your you know faith and your morals which is really important going out into the world as it is right now it's kind of a scary place but american heritage girls has really prepared me not only spiritually through that but you know just morally and just i'm a new person and i can take on the world sort of thing so i really encourage the program it's amazing you can find out more about them american heritage org. it's american heritage org. we've been talking to savannah cantor this morning please help them out Look, they're trying to race this young lady. She said, I'm just I'm just your average. Look, I'm going to tell you right now, she's being very humble. She's not your average 17 year old. She is doing amazing things, being a leader in her community, being a leader for other girls now as you have went through this program for many years. And Savannah, you've got a very bright future ahead of you. And the work that you're doing is tremendous. And we we're just so appreciative of what you are doing. Uh, again, it's tinyurl.com forward slash stars and stripes 2020. Denise White is here with us as well, your mentor. Denise, just wanted to give you an opportunity to maybe ask Savannah any other questions or, or chat a little bit. Yeah, thanks so much. Isn't she amazing? She's just uh, such a great inspiration. Um, one thing that I really want to make sure that uh, you know we illuminate a little bit is how these girls come into American Heritage Girls just so shy, so quiet, so reserved, 
And then, you know, with the right tools, the right inspiration, the right guidance, um, American Heritage Girls' mission is to build women of integrity through service to God, family, community, and country. And our girls as a whole across the country, they serve. They're out in the community. Very few troops just sit back and do arts and crafts, but most of them, they're out with the veterans, with the elderly, with the people in need, doing whatever they can across the country. And so it's just pretty fantastic. Uh, one of the things about Savannah's project is her need right now is $2,000, but the amount of donations that she's received, uh, for example, Texas Ramp Build, they're donating all of the hardware, the expertise. We worked so hard with them to get the plans developed, to get everything needed from the architectural designs. Um, they've just been fantastic with what they've provided for Savannah that I don't want to leave them out at all. And they've built already uh, 18,994 ramps wow. in Texas. That's a lot of ramps. And all the ramps are done for free. So the ramps they build are for people that need a ramp, need the access. So this project ties right in to a need and the veterans that have already been turned away. And it is true. Um, Lisa over at Hearts turned away a veteran just last week because they don't have the ability to get someone with a disability up on a horse. Savannah's ramp is 30 feet long. The platform itself is 15 by 15. It allows for mounting of horses from both sides. So they can have two veterans at a time getting on a horse on the left and right sides of this platform going directly into the riding ring. Uh, it's just fantastic. One more thing I wanna add there, Rob, is it's gonna be built by Volunteers. Everything Savannah does, it's all volunteers. So the amount of, of preparation that, that she's done as her mentor, we've been walking step by step through this, and she's just such a joy, such a fireball, as I call her, and um, just an inspiration for, for anyone out there. So all the little girls that are looking for inspiration, um, Savannah's definitely it, but uh, it's been fantastic. Yeah, well, we've been honored to have uh, both of you on the program this morning. Ken Covington is my morning host here on Good Morning Georgetown. And Ken may have a couple of questions here. I'm just going to close this off. See, that's the fun part about self-producing everything is I've got a, I kind of, kind of, I always call it an octopus because I feel like my arms are all over the place. Uh, but Ken is still, uh, Ken should still be with us here. Uh, Ken, can you still hear us? Oh, hold on, Ken. I had you muted. Hold on, Ken. I got you muted. I don't know why it's uh, not unmuting you. See, that's what I get, Denise, for saying while it... There we go, Ken. You got us? I hit the button. <laughs> okay, Ken may have a couple of questions here. I'll let uh, I'll let Ken uh, chat a little bit here as well. Gosh, I, I mean, that was great. I, you know, as people, this is, this is what America's all about. I don't have any questions. I think they covered it all really well. But... Um, the, the the vision of of everybody here you know helping out the veterans that's just a great is that's what america's all about that's all i got to say it's you know things like this is what makes this country strong so awesome well can appreciate yeah. you savannah before we let you go any final thoughts from you savannah we've enjoyed having you on the show today uh, and I appreciate you bringing a little spotlight here to American Heritage Girls because I'll be honest, I didn't know about American Heritage Girls until I met Denise and you girls were active with the Field of Honor. So any final thoughts before we let you go today, Savannah? It's been awesome having you on. Well, thank you so much for having me. I, this Anything like that anyone's willing to give for this cause, it will help. These, like I said before, these veterans are being turned away. So anything that you are able to give will be appreciated shade for this i really want to get this done as soon as possible the build is estimated to happen in june so if we work really hard now and get the funds now we can start as soon as possible but thank you so much for having me and i really appreciate you know all the kind words like i i just like can't even imagine where i'd be without american hair trills and it's just awesome being on here because you know i could never imagine being 
on a radio show. <laughs> so that's like really awesome. So well, thanks we, so much. We appreciate. It. We got you on internet radio, but you're all over Facebook now. So people are gonna people are gonna <laughs> know about American Heritage Girls more prominently because of you. And we appreciate you so much, Savannah. Denise uh, White also here as well. Denise, any final comments before we let you go, Denise? No, Rob. Thanks for having her on. Um, it's just a, such a great project, and she's an amazing young lady that's doing um, just taking everything she does by storm. Nothing is is done halfway with Savannah and uh, AmericanHeritageGirls.org. We will be meeting uh, throughout the year. We've got some fun stuff coming up over the summer across the country. So just go on, look online, and see where your local. Uh, group is. If you have any questions, my contact's going to be in the Facebook page, so you can reach out to that. I'm a troop coordinator for uh, one of the troops here in Georgetown, so um, just go check it out. It's amazing things happening all over Georgetown, Rob, and thanks for bringing us on. I appreciate it. You bet, and Denise, thank you for all that you do with these girls. You know, I like I was telling Savannah, I had no idea about American Heritage Girls until I met you, and I think the work and your promotion of what you do with these young ladies has been tremendous. So thank you so much for that, Denise. Thanks, Rob. All righty, friends, we'll step aside and take a break. It is 7.44 a.m.